record. Okay, so again, let's take a look at something. All right, now on your inequalities, all right, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to requires a solid line, requires a solid line. If we just say greater than or less than, watch up there, style, I can click over to dotted line and that will allow you to draw a dotted line. All right. So greater than or less than is a dotted line. All right. To do that again, you tap on the pencil and then where there's the different styles down here at the very bottom, you can slide over and there's different types of um, dotted lines that you can use. So I want you to use that feature. All right. Anybody have any questions? All right, now, I never understood this. So when you're drawing a line, all right, if you draw a line greater than, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line this way, I'm gonna draw a line this way. Where do you think greater than is shaded? It's not right and left, it's called above and below greater than is always shaded where above so this would be shaded above this would be shaded above less than is shaded what below this is less than this is less than and every year people think you're going to the right and to the left it's not right and left it's above and below Above the mountain is greater than. Below the mountain is less than. Now, occasionally, you will have something like a horizontal line. Greater than is still where? Above, less than is still what? Occasionally, you will get a vertical line. I, for some reason, I have to explain it. I shouldn't. Now, is there above and below here? On a vertical, above and below. There is no, so greater than is probably which direction? To the right, less than, less than is to the, that's all there is to it, man. That is simple, simple, simple. Greater than is to the right, less than is to the left. Greater than is above, less than is what? Below, it's an easy assignment. All right, now once again, we never escape graphing lines, ever. All right, in every single math class, you will always be asked to graph a line. That's why we do it so much, all right? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to graph number one. So who can remember how we graph X plus three? Y equals X plus three, what do I do? Plot three, Plot three. thank you. So everybody's making a point at zero three. Then I'm going to go from there, what? Bless you. Up what? Up one and? Over one, right, because remember, the slope is one. The slope is one, so that makes it up one over one. So I make another dot, up one over one. Now I draw the line. Notice I'm keeping my dotted line here. All right, the reason why I have a dotted line is because it is greater than. And then make your um, shading thick, all right, and make it a different color. And then look how easy. That's the answer, guys. Now, come on, I, I don't, I don't want to waste a bunch of time today. I don't want to waste a bunch of time. It's annoying, all right? You just have to graph, all right? Yes. So if it's greater than, it's a dotted line? No. If it's greater than, it's a dotted line, all right? If it's greater than or equal to, it's a what? Solid, it has nothing to do with it greater. The, the, what makes it solid or dotted is if it's equal to or not equal to, all right? So let's take a look at number two. All right, everybody take a quick look at number two. And how do I graph 
y equals negative eight. Who remembers that? It's a what? What kind of line? Horizontal. horizontal at what? Negative eight. Negative eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I go down to eight and I make a horizontal line. Now it's solid because it's what? Equal to. Come on now, this is what I'm talking about. It's easy. All right, if you know how to graph a line. Now here's another day that I can teach some of you how to graph a line if you forgot. All right, anybody have any questions? Anytime you have Y equals horizontal line. Now you just get out your, make it thick. You don't have to color. doesn't have to be perfect. Just have to shade it in. All right, and that would be greater than. All right, that would be Y is greater than or equal to negative eight. All right, so here we go. What's wrong with number three? The X is on the wrong side. So I have to move the X over. When I move the X over, it becomes right. So now we're going to say Y is greater than negative X plus one. So everybody should be good with this. So what do I do? Go up one. Thank you very much. And then no, down one to the right one, down one to the right one, down one to the right one. Then what type of line? Dotted line. Now, if you don't like uh, flipping back and forth, I totally understand that. All right, but it's just to me better than just erasing. So we're drawing that line right there. And now greater than is shaded where? Above. Easy, I told you. Yes, ma'am, good. Because remember, negative one, is negative one over one. Uh, you with me? This is a positive one. That's a positive one. All right. So now let's knock out number four. Graph what? Yes, we're gonna graph negative six. Go down one, two, three, four, five, six, plot a point. Then from there, what do I do? up one to the right one. Now we draw our line, trying to go through those two points. And then where are we shading? Below. Below. Down. Easy, easy, easy. Everybody? Well, where do you want me to shade? Why? That, what is this symbol? That's why it's below. The line. This is above the line. This is below the line. Why do you say that? What is this symbol? So we want to be less than that line. We want to be less than the line. All right, now um, let's go ahead and pull out your handy dandy calculator. And I just want to show you, let's say you forget, you're taking a test, you forget how to shade. All right, everybody turn it on. And then the first thing I want you to do is just go to Y1 and type in 2X minus 4. Everybody try that. Is your go plug it in and come on, just set put it over there. Come on and charge it. And it should come on by using that cord. You know what I mean? It should come on. All right. Now put it open until you can see it. Now move your chair closer so you're comfortable. You don't have to feel like it's okay. Did everybody go to um, to type in two x minus four? Now we've been doing stat plots, so you need to go up where it says plot and turn that off. Turn the plotting points off. Now just to review with you on that, right? When you're at y one, 
right above here is the plot. You want that off. So if it's in dark or it's shaded, that means it's on. So turn that off. How do I turn it off? You go up to it and hit enter. Go up to it and hit enter. Now everybody's doing 2x minus 4. Or what was it? Yeah, everybody's typing in 2x minus 4. All right. Now, what I want everybody to do now is take your cursor that's right here, and you are going to move it over here to where there's that inequality sign. Not inequality, but go all the way to the left and hit enter. Hit enter. And then when you go all the way over to the left and hit enter, now you have a, a window. This is where you can change the color of your line. See where it says line, go down one, go down one. Now click it to the right. That means greater than, click it again. That means less than, all right? Now there's other options there. If you take a science class, there's a lot of actual cool things you can do, all right? But we don't care about that. We just care about greater than or less than. We, for this problem is what? Less than. So once you hit less than, go down, click OK, and then hit graph. And it should do the shading for you. All right. And then go to Zoom standard. Zoom standard will take you back to the 10 by 10 screen. And then you can see it. All right. What? So we got the color thing. Doesn't matter what color. I don't care what color you do. Okay. And then, then you go down one more, and it's what you want to change. All right. All right, is everybody okay with that now? No. The arrow is like that triangle. Triangle is less than. This is greater. Okay. Zoom standard and she did the whole thing. You're supposed to be right here. Yeah, you did that. Listen, if you're unsure, go also to Zoom standard. Zoom standard puts it in a 10 by 10 screen. Tyler, oh, show me so I know. Tyler, you're a bot. Oh, I need to read it. Come on, 2x plus 4. Type it in. Man, you won. Put a wallet on your head. I should have jacked on it. Man. You do less than. Bro, you got the triangle going the wrong Bro, Jackson, way. Bro, Jackson, you're losing more than. than. It's not bad that what Zeb is. No, I did less than you. Then why did you make this? Okay, then why did you make this? What are you doing? Zeb's up with this on my calculator. It's more than. Wait, it's less than. It's really, I think you're right. Yeah, okay. I, I am right. I'm right. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Did that fix it, Misha? Did it fix it? Go to Y equals and then see if the screen is clear. All right, here we go. Now, again, guys, I'm not sure. No, it's nothing to do with your calculator. It's always a user error, always. All right. I said, guys, if there's a problem with your graph, it has nothing to do. I think everybody here can type in the 2x plus 4. Zoom standard gets you back to a 10 by 10 screen. All right, we were messing with the screen before and we changed it. So if there's ever a problem, you just hit zoom standard and it puts it back to a 10 by 10 screen. All right. What's less than 
What are you talking about? Where is less than or equal to? That's greater. Of Look, guys, come on now. Driving me crazy today. Look at this. Please look up on the board. Here's the symbol. You're not looking on the board. This is what over here? Right. This one over here is what? What are you asking me? Right? It's completely logical. Greater than we said was above, less than is below. All right? Now, do you really need that? You don't really need it because it's so easy. I'm just saying if you ever forget and you're like, oh, I don't know what's the shaded part, you can go to that. All right? And it'll show you the symbol greater than. All right, here we go. Now we're on number six. What type of line is X equal? What kind of line? Vertical. vertical. It's a vertical. So everybody go to X equals four and draw yourself a vertical line. Solid because it's equal to. Then shaded which direction? Right or left? Because it is? Yeah, it's less than. All right, so everybody is just shading over here. And this is x equals 4, shading to the left. All right, let's knock out 7. So here, what do we do? Go down what? Down 4. Then from there, I go what? Up 2 and over 3. Now, here's something else that's kind of nice. I want to show you on your notability. All right, now we just graph a dotted line, correct? But I'm just going to do a solid line and show you how to make it dotted. All right? I know it's not a big deal. Some of you already know this. But when you go to your eraser, you can do partial. And then all you do is you just kind of just do it yourself. Do the dotted line yourself. All right? And then we want greater than. So again, greater than is shaded above. Anybody have any issues? Anybody have any issues? All right. So now number eight, just to be sure. Now remember, we're practicing mental math, guys. So I want everybody's attention up here on number eight. Look up, look up, look up. Everybody stay with me. I'm trying to solve for what? Why? All right. So when I move the X, it becomes what? Negative. negative, right? So if you need to, you can just put like negative three X, just if you can't, you're not good at it yet. Then I have to divide by what? Divide by what? Negative four. I want to divide by negative. What do I do to the sign? Change it. So the answer is why? What happens to the inequality sign? So that becomes less than or equal to. Now, what is the X value? Three over four, because you're dividing by a negative, three fourths X. And then what is 12 divided by negative four? Negative three. Now let's say, well, I'm just really not comfortable with that. All right, then you write down three X minus four Y is greater than or equal to 12. Negative four Y is greater than or equal to negative three X plus 12 and then divide by negative four, divide by negative four. That's what some of you still are doing. Is there anything wrong with that? Nope, especially if you're gonna get it right. Don't make careless mistakes. So is it the same answer? That's exactly correct. Three fourths X minus three. Everybody okay with that? And now we just have to graph what? Zero, what? Zero, negative three, plotting a point. From there, I go up what? Up three and to the what? You can't say over. Right. And then we draw a line. And now we're shading where? Why? Greater than is above. 
Less than. That's right. Less than. All right. Just be careful. All right. That's what I'm saying. Be careful. All right. Now, the last one, the last one I'm going to do is number 10. All right. So for number 10, what do I have to do first? Move the six. It becomes what? And then what? And so why is less than or equal to? Yes, good. Negative 3x. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you this again is because sometimes kids forget the y-intercept is what here? Zero. The y-intercept is zero. Then from there, I go what? Down three and? Down three to the right one. Very nice. And now draw the line. And shaded which direction? Which direction? Yes, but we we I prefer not left. I prefer you just say what? Below. We are below the mountain. All right, we are below the mountain. We're not going to the left. All right, below. All right, and what I mean by that is whenever you have a graph, you can just make it a mountain and say greater than the mountain is over here, less than is below and that shows you that right and left have nothing to do with it right and left have nothing to do with it it's up and down all right anybody have any questions so i agree it's kind of easy if you know how to graph a line just shading you get to color today you get to go home and tell your mom and dad you colored in math class all right so with that being said you have to finish up all right tomorrow when you walk in the door i'm just going to collect it all right no, you have homework. This is your homework. I know. If you want to like turn it in on Google Classroom, you just want to check. Oh it. no, I'll check it when you walk in the door. All right. I don't like looking at Google Classroom. It takes me too long. So I'm just gonna come around and look on your uh, on your iPad. All right.